The White House today calling for civility after stopping a credentialed correspondent from attending an open press event with President Trump. The press secretary, Sarah Sanders, says the reporter shouted questions and refused to leave despite repeatedly being asked. Here's what happened. Did Michael Cohen betray you, Mr. President? Thank you, for, thank you everybody. Mr. President, did, did Michael Cohen betray you? Mr. President, are you worried about what Michael Cohen is going to say to prosecutors? Let's keep going. Are you worried about what is on the other tapes, Mr. President? Thank you all. Keep going. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Why has Vladimir Putin not accepted your invitation? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Let's go. Come on, guys. Thank you very much. We're done. We're done. Let's go. Why is Vladimir Putin not accepting your invitation, Mr. President? That's right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. The reporter you heard was Caitlin Collins, White House reporter for CNN. She was the pool reporter at the time, meaning on that day in that setting, she represented all of the television networks, including this one. A few hours later, she said White House officials told her the questions were inappropriate and that she was not allowed to attend the president's joint news conference coming up with the European Commission president in the Rose Garden. The president of this network, Jay Wallace, put out a statement in support of Collins and journalism, quoting, we stand in strong solidarity with CNN for the right to full access for our journalists as part of a free and unfettered press. The president of the White House Correspondents Association also entered, issued a statement. It reads in part, we strongly condemn the White House's misguided and inappropriate decision today to bar one of our members from an open press event after she asked questions they did not like. This type of retaliation is wholly inappropriate, wrong-headed, and weak. It cannot stand. This morning, reporters tried to get a response from Bill Shine. He's the White House Deputy Chief of Staff for Communications. Bill Shine, full disclosure, is my personal friend. He was a producer, then executive, then senior executive at this network, and in that capacity, he was my boss. Shine took issue with people saying the White House banned Collins. Could you ask her if we ever used the word banned? I've did, seen it on lower thirds. What, what did, word what would you, you use, Bill? Uh, what word would you use? When you ask her if we ever used the word banned, then I will answer that question. You prohibited her? What's the word you would you use? You ask her. Focus now. You ask her if we ever use the word damn. Focusing, this is a difference without a distinction. Collins reports Shine and the press secretary Sarah Sanders disinvited her from a Rose Garden event. Kellyanne Conway, counselor to the president, whom we don't often quote here, said the whole thing shows the media needs to change its approach. That incident aside, I'm just speaking more broadly, um, the civility that you all call for sometimes when, when you're in your broadcast, I think it should start here at the White House and just show a little bit more respect. Civility. CNN maintains the Correspondents Association agrees, and we at Fox News observed that Collins was civil, that she asked relevant and timely questions of a president who often answers questions under identical circumstances and in the same setting. One of our journalists might have done exactly the same. For perspective, just a couple of days ago, President Trump said this to a group of veterans about the news media. Don't believe the crap you see from these people, the fake news. During that same speech, the president told the crowd in attendance, what you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. Of course, President Trump has been calling members of the media fake and dishonest since he announced he was running for, pre for office. And in the past few months, the president has adopted a new phrase. They interviewed 10 women on one of the uh, opposing networks, you know, the enemy, the enemy of the people, I call them. The enemies of the people. I invited Bill Shine and through him Sarah Sanders to appear on this program to offer their perspective on this matter. Shine declined while thanking me for the opportunity. We also invited our colleague Jordan Fabian, White House correspondent for The Hill. We asked him because during a White House briefing last week, this happened. 
Just to follow up on my second question, Sarah. You Sorry, I'm going to move on to Jordan. You told Josh the president has been Once again, Hallie, I'm moving on to Jordan. Jordan, go ahead. Sorry, Hallie, go ahead if you want. Thanks, Jordan. You said Actually, I'm going to take a question from Jordan. Well, actually, he deferred to Hallie. Hallie Jackson of NBC News. She asked her follow-up question, and Sanders answered it. Jordan's with us live now on the North Lawn. What's your take on what's happening now and how it's different from what we've seen in the past? Well, Shep, I can tell you that, you know, I agree with my colleagues that what happened yesterday with Caitlin Collins is completely unacceptable. The White House doesn't get to handpick the reporters who are here to cover the White House. That's not how it works. That's not how it's ever worked. And I hope in the future uh, this doesn't happen again. Um, look, I mean, unfortunately, there have been dust-ups in the past. I remember this network was in involved with some kind of situation with the Obama administration where it wasn't invited to a series of roundtable interviews. That's right. And you know what happened then, right, Jordan? That's right. Uh, Jake Tapper, then of CNN, stepped in to, uh, to back you guys up and said that we wouldn't really attend that uh, some round of interviews unless uh, Fox News was invited. So in times like this, I think it's good for the press corps to unite and, and really rally around one another. And I, I, I'm seeing that happen again, uh, and I think it's for the best. In that case, it happened after a series of disagreements, I guess. In this case, the reporter for the pool, which is the reporter for all of us, Caitlin Collins, though not on our payroll, was working for us at Fox News and for you at home at that moment, trying to get answers from the president. Caitlin Collins after reports that she was brought into the office of Bill Shine. Can you tell us your understanding of that event? Well, Shep, I wasn't there for the meeting, but I mean, the fact that this was even a conversation is, is again, not, not acceptable to any of us in the press corps. Uh, the, the, the pool is very important, as you were saying. It's, it's for all of us in the news media because there's limited space in the White House to have eyes and ears on what's going on at all times to make sure that we are getting the, the message from the president or whatever White House official out to the public and for them to take any step to restrict that is not something that the press is going to stand for. And the background reason on that is that if a president, any president, is allowed to call on those who have seen, seemed friendly to him or acceptable to answers that might fly in the face of fact, having a procedure which includes disallowing those who would ask questions of substance and, and universal uh, curiosity uh, might be against the will of the people and, and not for the greater good. Right, and, and like you said, the president uh, is free to not answer those questions. And yesterday we saw him on two occasions not answer questions about Michael Cohen or, or Russia. And that's totally his prerogative, but it's the press's job to ask those questions. And any reporter in that situation would have asked the same or similar questions to what Caitlin answered. So I think myself and a lot of the colleagues in the press corps you know, pushed back on the characterization that she was somehow uh, not being civil or not respecting the office of the president. This is something that happens every single day. And, and in fact, the president often takes the opportunity to answer those questions from us, and he makes news. So this is something that's just part of our job. Jordan Fabian, it's nice to speak with you again. Thank you. You too, Chef. Thanks. For those of you at home, if I may, journalists are not the enemies of the people. It's quite the opposite. Our profession is enshrined in the Constitution. And the fourth estate holds the essential job of being your eyes and often ears and, when appropriate, your voice. It's a cornerstone of our republic. Over 22 years at this network, it has been my experience that the journalists of Fox News and Fox Business and those of our colleagues at competitors at CNN and MSNBC, NBC, ABC and CBS, Bloomberg and PBS, The Wall Street Journal, The New York Post, The New York Times, The Washington Post, all of them operate in the public interest. We work to discern what is truth, then to present it to you in context and with perspective and as your representatives in the people's halls report to you without fear or favor while striving to hold those in power to the same standards. This is the foundation of what we do. It's our reason for being, our purpose. Please know this. I acknowledge many thousands of your complaints and protestations, and in doing so, I offer this. Never have I personally misrepresented the truth to you. Our reports are checked, rechecked, and approved at the editorial management level of this network. And in the event I make a mistake, I tell you, 
and correct it in a timely and appropriate manner. As an aside, when the president attacks journalists, we question his motivation and try to discover the underlying reason. For historically, those who regularly and as a matter of pattern attack the messenger, who degrade and belittle the purveyors of truth and work to diminish the free press, often find the facts displeasing and endeavor to keep you from knowing them. We are on guard, and we hope, politics aside, for the greater good that you are too.